Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this uh, video series, I am going to talk about uh, how we can create our own model and generate synthetic data for fault diagnosis and isolation. Why this is important? Because it often happens that when we want to do FDI task for any kind of system, we need the data from the previous uh, fault scenario, but which is not read, readily available in any industry cases. That's why it can be very useful to generate uh, data synthetically from a uh, approximate model of the working system or the system under consideration. So that's why in this video series, I'm going to talk about how we can model a simple system. We we'll start from a basic DC motor. We'll go to hydraulic systems and then to early mechanical systems. We'll model the entire system on our own and then introduce fault manually and get the sensor, get the synthetic sensor data. And using those sensor data, we'll try to train some machine learning algorithm which we will be able to train and then see the performance on our model at first before using them. So why modeling is useful? The first thing is, it is difficult to get the faulty data from a real system. Different kinds of fault cannot be introduced in a real system because in that way we have to destroy this uh, system that is uh, under consideration and which is never desirable. So it can be useful to have a working model of the system and generate synthetic data train the machine learning model on this data and then we can validate the performance on the simulation first. Finally, while doing the implementation, we can tweak our model a little bit and uh, get our feedback from the real implemented system. So what are we going to model? So in this series, we will we'll try to in the first video, we will try to do the DC motor modeling using MATLAB simulating platform. It will be a good example as it covers a mechatronic system where we will discover both the mechanical part and the electronics part of the component. And then there are there will be two sensors in this model. First will be the current sensor and another will be the speed sensor. These two sensors data will gather and then we try to generate uh, then try to train an ML model for fault detection and isolation tasks. This is how the uh, this is how the DC motor will look like. There are certain parameters we'll go in depth in the following videos. So uh, I'll, I'll give after this I'll show you a simulation of what will be the end result of our of our model and how we can train an ML model on that. So in the end of this tutorial, we'll get a final model of the DC motor where we can get some inputs and we can see if there is any type of fault occurring or not. Towards the right hand side, you can see two plots. One is for residual 1 and one is for residual 2. If uh, the mode is normal mode, if there is no fault in the system, then the parameter will be inside the threshold. Red is the upper threshold and green is the lower threshold. But if I add some kind of fault, some kind of parameter fault, let's say resistance fault, then we'll totally see one parameter going out of bound. So as soon as any parameter goes out of bound, we can, we can see okay, there is a fault and we can go and do further diagnosis of that. And to get a better idea, this is how the introduction of fault looks like. We can get a signal builder in MATLAB simply and see there is two kind of fault. First is an incipient fault and another is a step fault. So this is the fault, uh, um, fault trajectory and this, this is how it reflects in the ARR. So you can see how useful this can be to generate synthetic data for the AI models.